It's been a while and I think it's time for another thrift store haul. Hey everyone, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. I love making my home beautiful and sharing high-end home decor and DIYs on a budget. If you enjoy videos like that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and stick around by subscribing and becoming part of the familia. I love thrifting. As a matter of fact, it is one of my 18 different ways that I like to update my home on a budget and I do have a video on that. If you guys have not seen it, I'll go ahead and link to it below. That way you guys can check it out after this one. There are just so many things that you can find while thrifting, whether it is going to your local thrift store or checking out Facebook Marketplace. And I actually have several items from both of those places. So let's get to it. The first item is this beautiful glass pitcher. When we first moved in, I bought a beautiful glass pitcher for like $20. And unfortunately, a couple months ago, it had this huge crack on it, so I wasn't able to use it anymore. I happened to be at my local Goodwill about a week or so ago, and I came across this beautiful glass one for only $2.99. I think it's perfect. It's super sturdy, heavy duty glass. And at $3, it's a huge bargain. All it needed was a little bit of cleaning. And now I can start using it this summer to make nice refreshments. The next item is this Tarte Mold at only $2.99. I thought this was amazing. It was pretty dirty when I bought it and I don't want you to be discouraged if you ever find a beautiful piece of ceramic like this that looks really dingy because most of the time it only needs to be scrubbed. And that's what I did. I cleaned it very well and it looks brand new. And this is another thing that I want to start using this summer because I want to learn how to make those beautiful fruit tarts. They're like the perfect summer dessert and they look amazing and I cannot wait to get my hand on creating my very first one. So I'll be sharing that most likely on my second channel, The Latinos Next Door, when I do, but I just thought this was a beautiful piece that I can use in my kitchen. It will last me a very long time and it only cost me $3. And I can never get enough of white ceramics. And I came across this beautiful white mason jar vase. This only cost me 79 cents. And I could just imagine having some beautiful fresh flowers put in here or even faux flowers, it won't matter. Um, again, all it needed was some cleaning and it looks brand new. My next find was this beautiful yellow glass container. Now this container, was only $1.29, which I thought was perfect. And while I don't use this color so much in my color scheme, I was really attracted to it and I just had to get it because it was in perfect condition. I thought it would be perfect to add things for a bathroom in there, especially since we're gonna be tackling my son's bathroom soon and it's gonna be a huge renovation project. And I just wanna get some really nice classic pieces in order to have in his bathroom because it will be the guest bathroom when people come in. So I think little special pieces like this to use in bathrooms are just gonna be so darling. And if I find more, I plan on getting more, but this one was just too cute to pass up. The next item are these two storage bins. These actually cost me $1.99 each. So for $2, these storage bins are pretty amazing. The trim is a beautiful leather brown color. However, I'm not really fond of the red because I don't decorate in red at all. Like unless it's maybe Christmas and even then I'm not that crazy about red but I thought I can paint these with some chalk paint because you can definitely paint fabric with the chalk paint and I'm thinking that that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I thought since these were in perfect condition, I was gonna go ahead and do them and you can never have enough storage. So I'm looking forward to giving these guys a makeover. The next piece is this wooden art piece that I got for 99 cents. It was in great condition. Obviously, I am not too fond of the red pattern on top of it, um, but I thought this would be a perfect piece for me to recreate into some personalized DIY artwork. 
since I've been working on my painting. So I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to create something custom on something that's not so expensive. So for 99 cents, this is a great deal. Another item that I happened to come across was this straw wreath. Now you can get these straw wreaths at your local craft store, but they are a little bit more expensive. And at $1.99, I thought that was great. It looked like it was in really good condition. And I always like to have these on hand in case I want to make up a wreath on a whim. So for $2, I picked this up and it will definitely get used. And recently, you might have discovered that I have a thing for food tents. <laughs> Most of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I found this really cute food tent and tray combination at my local Goodwill for only 99 cents. When I first picked it up, I honestly had no idea what it was. And then I pulled the little net over and I was like, oh my God, this is so adorable. I did notice that it was a little dirty on the mesh part. However, all it needed was a little bit of soap and water and everything came off. It looks brand new. So I am gonna be using this along with my hot pink food tent this coming summer when we eat more outside. Now these next items are actually a two for one. I bought these as a pair on Facebook Marketplace for only $10. Now these are beautiful metal planters. That's what she had them listed as, um, but they don't have any of the glass that was originally there when she purchased them, which is totally fine because I plan on putting wood inserts where the shelves would have been and i'm actually thinking about using them in two different places with two completely different purposes so i'm excited to use these they're in great condition they're a good size and i just thought they were just so beautiful so i cannot wait to remake these and add them to my home now this next one is a red berry wreath which i also bought at my local goodwill for only two dollars and 99 cents it is a pretty large wreath and for the most part, it had pretty much all the berries that came to it. So I think all I need to add is a little bit of greenery here and there to spruce it up and really make it look good. And that's it, it's perfect for the holidays, but it might even work for like 4th of July because it's got that beautiful red color on it. And I honestly had to leave it out for a little while in the sunlight because it had like a really weird smell to it, like it had been stored for way too long but for only $3 and for putting it on my front door, I think it's gonna work perfect. Next up is a small little piece of furniture that I bought over at Goodwill as well. This cost me $10.99, so it's not bad for a side table. Obviously my most expensive piece so far. It's got a couple of areas that I need to repair. However, I think this will be beautiful in like a corner, as a little side table, as a plant holder. There's so many possibilities and I can't wait to give this one a facelift as well. Something else that I bought is this beautiful lamp. Now the color is not so beautiful, but the shape of it is, and it's in pristine condition. This lamp cost me $8.99, which is a little bit more expensive than I paid for in the past for lamps. I mean, I've gotten them for free for crying out loud. Um, but I was in love with the shape and I plan on giving it a beautiful antique and textured look. So stay tuned for that makeover. I can't wait to get started on this lamp. Next, I have this little magazine holder that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for only $5. I came across a post where they were having an estate sale and this was perfect. I am gonna be making this over to give it a complete makeover and use it for something totally different. So I can't wait to share what I have in store for this cute little magazine rack. So another item that I got from Facebook Marketplace was this amazing large ceramic bowl. This thing is beautiful and I only paid $5 for it. It has that little beaded design around the top rim and I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I just can't wait to use this in my kitchen going forward. I'm trying to get away from like the tchotchke containers and stuff and collect beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces for my kitchen. So there's another white piece for the collection. And that is it for my haul. I got a lot of really beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces this time around and one of the things that you guys probably have noticed is that not everything needs a makeover and I've really been looking at making sure that whenever I go thrifting I don't just buy just because 
I can. I want to make sure that all these things will have a purpose and it's been even more gratifying whenever I find a beautiful piece like that pitcher or that beautiful tart mold, which I know I will treasure for many years to come. So I'm really trying to be very mindful and have a specific purpose whenever I go out thrifting. That way it doesn't feel like I'm overwhelming my home with too many items. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below which one of these pieces was your favorite. There are definitely some really beautiful items in this haul. I am so happy I came across these and honestly, it wasn't even that much. I am going to be looking forward to making over those items that do need makeovers and sharing them with you all here. So I will see you guys in the next home decor and DIY video. Until then. Adiós.